All right, what is going on today, guys? Tom Cat here, and today we are back in Spin Tires for a look at a really cool mod. Now, this is a mod by Powers Twenty Four Forty. Um, he's kind of one of the. Uh, he's not super super well known, but kind of if you're in the community uh, a lot, then you do then you might know him. Um, and he makes some really nice Jeep mods. And uh, sorry about my sorry about my voice. Like I said, if you've been following me th for the past few days, this this. Whatever crap this is go that's going on with my voice is almost gone. But anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and um, try some of the different tires on this Jeep and see how they look. And uh, first off, let's see. Let's stick the, let's see, black Irox on there. They're pretty skinny, actually. Pitbulls, which are hella wide, and they look damn good. Wide boggers. And then, ooh yellow wheels with boggers I'm actually gonna run those just because I like the way the yellow wheels look and then let's see yellow wide bogger spare and uh, Yeah crawler repair equipment just because I like having that stuff kind of I like having that stuff on there, so Basically what this is is a CJ2A with a full crawler suspension um, And as you can see also which I didn't know it had four-wheel steer the four-wheel steer, I'm sure, is going to help a lot. I just haven't, like, dude, I haven't even touched this thing yet. Now, I was actually, I was actually going to play um, a completely new, completely revised version of the Dirt Time map for you guys, which has, like, a ton of new features, and it's really, really cool, but unfortunately, that map is literally not wanting to work at all whatsoever, so I messaged the creator... And I was like, hey, is there any way, you know, is there any way you can help me figure out what's going on? Because I've done, like, I've done everything I know how to do with that map. I reinstalled the map. I reinstalled the game. I cleared the cache a whole bunch of times. Um, I messed with my Spin Tires Plus settings. And, <clears throat> and it still didn't end up working properly. So I have no clue uh, what was going on with it. Now, the objective of this particular video is not to go on about that other map. I mean, really, like, the contrary. It's it's to see how this thing does at a... I mean, this is the this is the Albi Washington map, and I, I feel like a lot of you guys will probably know this map because it's a classic. Um, eh, she's got pretty good flex. Once you get, like, past its point of where it likes to flex, then it starts to kind of go over, but when you get right to the edge, like, when you get right to the edge of it, it does flex up pretty well. And damn, does it look good. I mean, dude, it looks so good. Especially when that four-wheel steer is doing its job. Like, really. I'm gonna stick it in low range, though, because the automatic... The automatic gearbox, even back there, it was real stuttery. And so I think that if there's anything he has to work on with this thing, it's definitely the automatic gearbox. Only thing about this map to me is that I'm not actually sure where I'm going. I'm not actually sure where, like, the trails on this map lead because I haven't really spent too much time here. So, it's a little bit of a learning curve for me. Oh God! Oh help! Oh, we'll just get you back up on top of the hill. All right. Whoo! That was uh, that was close. That was almost bad. That was almost quite bad, actually. But regardless, we that's the thing about about a CJ2A, regardless about regardless of what happens, you press on. You you really do. Like literally regardless of what happens, you freaking press on. And god, dude, that you don't really realize how big that bogger spare is until you see it in the back. I mean, like dude, I would hate to have to change that on the side of the trail. It would be like the worst thing the worst thing you'd ever have to freaking do on the side of the trail in a Jeep is uh, change a massive off-road tire. And um, I will admit I've never actually had to do it, but I know some people that have. And uh, I mean, I've changed off-road tires before, just never in the middle of the woods with a high lift jack, put it that way. And uh, it's kind of weird too because, like, random side note, some of the videos I recorded earlier today my voice sounded better than it did before and then now it's like not quite as good it's still better than it was the other day but it's not perfect yet so 
Um, and regardless, you know, I mean, I had people comment on the video yesterday, and they were like, dude, holy crap, you sound horrible. Get some rest. And I, I am, I, I have been getting rest. I've been, I've been getting rest. I've been, you know, I've been taking what I need to take for this. And, um, it's just kind of just one of those things that you have to, um, you have to kind of, oh god, oh shit. No, oh god, yeah, we've gone over. Damn. Can we start it back up? That's the question. And yes, the answer is yes. But anyways, yeah, I mean, it's, and it's not really, like I said, it's not really that I was sick or anything. It's just that my voice was just straight up gone, and so I've been... Um, pretty much just like drinking a ton of water lately and uh, just trying to keep that under con like as under control as possible and um, God I've like I've probably trying to think I've I've like I've been drinking so much water lately it's ridiculous it is it is absolutely nuts but I mean it's helping with my voice it really really is it's just like it's just like damn dude that's a lot of water <laughs> but uh, let me see if I can get around the, the nope maybe we can't Man, not even with the four-wheel steer? You serious? We'll back it up just a bit. There we go. Put it up over the edge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is way too tall to go, like, to go under the tree, so we have to go around it. It's always weird when you, uh, or it's always, like, an interesting little spot on this map. Whenever you bring a new vehicle here that you haven't before, you're like, am I going to go around the tree, or am I going to go under it? And, uh, that's, like, the biggest, kind of one of the biggest things on this map that's, like, it determines, uh, it kind of sets vehicles apart from each other. It's like, did this one go under the tree, or did it go around the tree? And I think, honestly, a lot more vehicles will go around that tree than will go under it, because that tree is, like, number one, that tree is stupid low to the ground, and number two... I don't even understand why they put it there. It's like in a really weird spot. I mean, other than to make the map interesting, which it does, it's just, again, it's in a weird place. And um, another side note real quick. I know I've been getting a little bit off topic from the mod in this video, but I wanted to talk about uh, some of the pictures I've been putting up on Instagram from our recent off-roading trip. And I won't talk about this very long because I know a lot of you guys don't like it when I talk about Instagram. But anyways... I do want to thank you guys for all the support on those pictures. It's been awesome. Um, and that just, that really honestly just motivates me to like do more off-roading stuff. And um, that's, that's, I think a lot more of that is coming soon. The guy with the green CJ, which used to be my CJ that I sold to him and then bought the XJ. He's about to actually, if you watch the video, he's about to take the 35s. Uh, off and put 33s on because those 35s for his lift the 35s are so huge and so wide that they rub Like crazy like they rub the tub they rub the fenders uh, So he's gonna put 35 or sorry 33s on the Jeep dial back the tire size a little bit But he should be able to still go pretty much anywhere he wants to because that thing is a beast I love how these boggers, you can see them, like, just fold over everything. You can really tell that they've been, you know, you've dropped a little bit of PSI out of them. You've dropped them, dropped them down just a little bit for more grip. And uh, you really see them, uh, you really see them kind of conforming to the landscape, which I think is really, really cool. It's a great trail jeep. It really, really is. It's an awesome trail jeep. I don't know how it would be as a rock crawler, but I think, like I said before, great, great, great trail jeep. Kind of make our way out of here real quick. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let's go. Come on. There you go. Can we use high and use wheel spin to our advantage? Come on. Apparently so. If it would go into gear. There we go. Just work our way up over the rocks. Not bad. Thing really does a good job of... Uh, of kind of just articulating itself over obstacles. And when I say articulating, I don't really mean flexing. I kind of mean more along the lines of the four-wheel steer combined with the tire size and the suspension, the way it works, uh, like just the way this thing flexes out, is it might not be as much flex as some of the other Jeeps that we run into sometimes, but it's really, really well balanced. 
This is one of the most well-balanced, most high-quality trail rigs I've seen in a very long time, and it absolutely deserves to be in your library. I mean, it, it, you guys need this Jeep. You really do, and I, I know I review a lot of mods, and this one jumps out as being one of the highest-quality mods that I've tested in a really long freaking time, and I really highly recommend it. I really, really do. Really do. This map's got some really cool views. It really always has. It, it's, it's not necessarily, I guess, the most beautiful map, but when you get out to some, just some little areas of this map, have some really nice views, really nice little, little vista spots uh, that you can just kind of, uh, that you can kind of look out over. And um, again, it really kind of, really kind of shows how this map developed as mainly a trail map. But when you get to this section, which is actually where we're going to finish after we climb it. I've never climbed it before, so I don't know if it can. But we need to do a rock crawling test. So here it is. Work our way up and over. Not too bad. Scraping the bottom a little bit, but... Should be able to work our way up. No problem. Oh, jeez. You know, man, the four-wheel steer, it really make. Not only does it make a difference, but it, it, it really helps. It, like, it makes a difference. Well, making a difference and it really helping are the same exact freaking thing. But it, ju it, it just works. Like, it works and it, it... It works and it makes sense as to why it's there. And it, it just... It just does an awesome job. Need to reposition real quick. Nope. Run to the left and then cut back right. Just need to get some hook on the front axle. Yeah, the whole Jeep is kind of saying no at the moment, so we're going to have to find another angle of attack for this. Get a little more to the right. There we go. Perfect, 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 perfect. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Much better. She's still getting a little out of shape, though. And I'm not sure why. I think this... Just this once, I'm going to give in and use the winch. Just because I'm still getting used to this vehicle, and I want to kind of get everything dialed in with it and learn how it is before I start, you know... Um, like, devoting, like, really dedicating to an obstacle, and I'm like, I'm not finishing this, you know, by winching. I'm just gonna, like, just, you know, gonna stay here as long as I have to, to climb the obstacle. Um, I'll save that for later, and, um, I think overall, though, really, really great rig. Um, it's got a good degree of challenge to it, and it really is, is super high quality. So, if you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this mod spotlight, don't forget to hit the like button. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.